Station number one, Jesus's resurrection. For what I received, I passed on to you as of first importance, that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day according to the scriptures. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 3 through 4. After the Sabbath, at dawn on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. There was a violent earthquake, for an angel of the Lord had come down from heaven. Going to the tomb, the angel rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothes were white as snow. The guards were so afraid of him that they shook and became like dead men. Then the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen, just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Take a moment now to pause and imagine this scene. Picture the fear and sorrow that these women must have felt as they walked to the tomb that day. They were heading there to bring spices that would attend to Jesus's lifeless body. Imagine their grief as they mourn the loss of their beloved friend and teacher. What do you think went through their minds when they arrived at the tomb and found that the stone was rolled away? How surprised and alarmed they must have felt as they saw the empty grave clothes in the place where Jesus's body was supposed to be. Where had their beloved master's body gone? Who had taken it away? What were they to do next? Now imagine the shock and overwhelming joy in their hearts when they saw and heard the message from the angel sent by God. Can you envision what you would do seeing this mysterious yet magnificent figure? What would you be feeling as you heard his words? He is not here. He is risen, just as he said. Imagine how these women were transformed forever in that one moment. Ask yourself these questions. How do you think the risen Jesus wants to transform you today? How have you thanked God for providing salvation for your soul through Jesus' resurrection? After searching your heart and taking time to speak with God, move to the next station.